What's up, guys? Foxy coming to you guys here with a brand new video. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Foxy, and I cover sound design, audio engineering content here on the channel. And today, we are going to be reacting to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure once again. We're going to hop right into this. If you guys have not watched part one, make sure you guys go watch that first. And yeah, let's get this started. Without further ado, let's go, bros. I like how you heard the blood, like, blood pouring out before. Oh, dude. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. High pitch sense, dude. Like I said before, Jojo, it knows its identity. I really enjoy how s the punches mix with the synths and the bass. It's so good. Music makes this way more epic than it actually is. Well, I mean, it, I'm, I have no idea what's going on in the story, so. I also like how the synths and things like that are slowed down in space. When they're on whatever planet or wherever, when they're not in space, they're super quick. But in space, they're slowed down. I really, really like that touch. Oh, oh my God. That didn't really sound like a foot, but that was cool. That fit, but I don't know about him crushing, crushing them. I don't know if those fit. Holy, oh, that was cool. Him punching whoever that was and the blood splurting everywhere had this like bubbly thick sound to it. Instead of it like splattering everywhere, it was just like, because it was coming out, it just had this like bubble sound to it. I really liked that. That was cool when it went back into his back. That sounded like, honestly, that sounded like a little kid hitting a baseball. Ah, uh, that sounded not as big as I thought it would. Like when he smashed the ground that, that one time, I thought it was going to sound way louder. The way that the synths, I like how there's individual ones. So that way, when you're looking at whatever's coming out of his body, there's like that sound that also travels. Like it, I don't know how to describe it. Like you hear the synths. And it's like, oh, there's multiple of those going on. And I think that's really awesome because you also see multiple things coming out of his body. I don't know what it is. Once again, for those of you that don't know, I have never watched JoJo. So I have no idea what is going on in the story. But like, that's, it's, it's still pretty awesome. I really like the sound design so far of that first fight. This is part two of King Crimson. Oh, sound like something from Mortal Kombat, the new ones. With the bones breaking. Oh! Okay. All right. All right. All the bones cracking and oh, I, I'm at a loss for words. I like that. Oh, here we go again. We're in space. That sound right there is okay. So that once again, that right there, it's so abrupt. It's got a very high pitch and it's louder than all the other sound effects it makes it that much more impactful if it was like a regular like punch or hit sound i don't think it would have that much of an impact but because it's got this like sharp high pitched tone to it it just sounds that much more impactful i really like that that was an insane neck snapping Okay, listen, I don't know how some of the sound designers don't throw up at some of these bone cracking sounds because I would be ugh. See the bubble sound again, and it happened in slow motion again, which I think is a nice touch. A lot of these sounds are kind of reused. Like I said, it's consistent and knows what it, Jojo knows what it is. It's nice to see that consistency in there. Oh, that was really cool. That was from the last fight, wasn't it? Key ringing sound, but like it sounded like they were all being put together. Those pitch changes were really nice too. Kind of wish there had been like a little bit of debris crackling in that. And he punched him in the, right in the freaking face. It sounds like it was like in like a water tank or something like that. All right. Well, I mean, like in interesting, interesting stuff. That, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Honestly, I'm just trying to get out all the things that I'm talking about, like during the fight. What, what happens is I kind of forget what happens in the fight. So as it happens, I try to tell you guys what I'm thinking. So that way I don't forget because then I end up having to watch this thing over and over and over again. Let's move into our last fight. And um, this is 10 minutes long. Uh, this is Jot Jotaro versus Dio Supercut on censored hopefully it, it's uh it's awesome this was uploaded by a guy named matt hello matt that sounds like zeke's voice actor Ooh, sounded like oh my lord is this erwin's voice actor versus oh those sound like gunshots erwin's voice actor versus zeke's voice actor so it sounds like a bunch of mini fireworks kind of going off i kind of like that 
up. Ooh, I really like that subtle fire sound effect. There's also this like whirling bubble sound in the background I'm hearing. Ooh, I like that. That was weird. He hit the... Oh, well, it looked like he hit the ground, but he didn't. I was like, why did he hit the ground and there was no effect for it? But never mind. Ooh. I feel like that magnet sound was a little bit too loud, but I guess they turned it up to kind of show or that it happened, even though you could kind of see it. I actually really enjoy the fact that there's not as many synths. There are some, but it's not a lot so far. Ooh, that was nice that like very big chain sound when he appears is pretty cool too all pretty much ordinary sword sounds and i will say about jojo i really enjoy how they use the reverse pitch and reverse inverted reversed type of sounds they don't use just a regular sound they also use that sound and then reverse it and then throw a different pitch on it it's very very cool Yes, Zeke. Ah, uh, that was a little weird. Now, see, I like how the synth is, is kind of used in that re in that regard. Oh my god! Oh wait, I I I, want, I I thought he cut his head off with a stop sign. Oh, I love that. The like the debris cracking, just like his freaking skull. And he's still living. What the hell's going on? I'm going to assume he's doing some type of time manipulation. And the clock sound is a really nice touch. Oh, I like. Ooh. I like this music, man. All the punches sound like mini firecrackers going on. And then that one big firecracker. Dude, what the hell's wrong with his face? It's like he's it's like he was an airhead and I can't remember if that was a commercial or not. It, was that a commercial where like all the airheads, like where people had airheads, they would eat an airhead and then their head would like blow up or something like that? It was it was on a cartoon or something like that. I I know it was okay, all right, he's being a crackhead now. Oh dude, that's oh Oh my god. I love the detail to that. Hearing that is crazy. Him scratching into his skull, picking at it almost. Oh. See, I wish that the there was a little bit of like distinct, very faint flame sounds or like fire sounds in the background. Huh, I, I definitely thought that there would be a little bit more cracking and sounds that made you realize that he was kind of putting his fingers and things like that back into place. I love how certain people have punches and kicks that just sound like gunshots. I think that's so cool. I have not watched a lot of anime, but I have not seen any other anime do that. I was going to say something and then I completely forgot. <laughs> I also like how each person has a different sound for their punches. It's got a different pitch on each one. Oh, I actually kind of like that. It didn't sound like rubber. It had that sound where he couldn't really move, but it didn't sound like rubber where like he was like trying to like put things back together. Or, like he was like stretching apart or anything like that. Like, oh, that was cool. Oh, dude, like the crackling and breaking plus the gunshot. Oh, I know what I was going to say. When as far as these synths go, it's cool because like the synths are one sound and then they end up putting bass and like a drum behind it to make it sound even bigger or even smaller which it, that's how it's it all works it's not just a synth it's also a synth plus a bass drum plus effects being added on to the synth or the bass and that's really cool wow that was an insane fight i don't know what the hell just happened but i guess i'll just start watching jojo soon overall like i said in the last video jojo has such an identity as far as art style and now hearing the sound design or has its own identity for sound design as well and i think that i might start watching it so um if you guys want me to react to anything uh let me know down in the comments and yeah thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys later goodbye